Hello, thanks very much for clicking on the video link. My name is Natalie Armstrong Motan. Welcome to another in a series of idle chat conversations with resolutionists around the world on behalf of the ABA's Section for Dispute Resolution. Today I get to talk to not only a colleague, but a friend of mine, which is always so much fun. I'd like to introduce Joyce Mitchell. Hi, Joyce, how are you today? Hi, Natalie, how are you? Thank you so much for asking me to do this. As I said, it's always a beautiful day in my neighborhood when I get a chance to talk to you, with you. You're so lovely, so lovely. So Miss Joyce, I promised you that during our idle chat, you didn't have to answer any question that made you uncomfortable or, or give pause. So we will be as gentle as we possibly can one with the other, but let's get started. The first okay. question, I don't think you'll have a problem answering. And that is, what is the best ice cream flavor? Chocolate. Just like that. Vanilla, no, no. strawberry, uh, you name it, ice cream. B, all of the above. All of the above. Good answer, yay on you. Miss Joyce, do you happen to remember the first concert that you attended? The first concert, um, it was at Gladys Night, and I attended with my husband. And for some reason, it just evoked all kinds of emotions in us. I've never seen my husband be so sensuous as he was there. Well, way to go, Gladys Night and the Pips. I can still do the... Oh, yes, yeah. And the midnight train to Georgia helped me with that. Yes, yes, yes. Woo, good concert. Joyce Mitchell, if you never needed to sleep again, what would you do with all the extra time? I would probably travel to Fiji, to Hawaii. I would travel to Italy, to Spain. I'd even go to Alaska to see the whales breaching. Uh, I would get out and see the world. You might come to France and visit your friend Natalie. Yes, absolutely. That's, that's the deal. You're always invited. Uh, Joyce, this is maybe a question of, I don't know, some divisiveness in the world. When you're flying on an airplane, does the person in the middle seat get to lay claim to both armrests? I've tried that, it doesn't work. So I try to choose one early. I go early if I have the middle seat and choose one and hope that the person on the opposite side of me will go along with that. But I find that sometimes as the flight goes on, we change and I'm amenable to that because I'd like all of us to be comfortable. Uh, Miss Joyce, next burning question. Do you have a green thumb? No. no. <laughs> I just looked at my plants that are absolutely having a difficult time as we go into the fall and I answered for them. I, I appreciate that you sought the, the visual verification of your capabilities. <laughs> I hate you. I hate for someone to visit me and ask me about this, this that question and look at my plants because an explanation would be needed. Yeah, it's just sad. Mm -hmm. just sad. All right. All right. Uh, Miss Joyce, next question. What is something that was common for you as a child? that to your grandchildren, great-grandchildren is going to seem just bizarre or out of place? Something that was common to me as a child mm -hmm. that to my grandchildren would now seem out of place. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the most common thing would be uh, the mixing of the races now. I grew up in the Southern part of the United States in a very segregated community. My grandchildren, are uh, biracial. And so I didn't see that as a child and so it wasn't common. And now it's so great that they can see it. They can see it with their aunt's children, with, with, with themselves, there are two of them. And 
uh, I think it's just wonderful that they don't have to see what I saw. That, yeah, that's a really, really good example. I, I hope that's, that's the response that I would want you to, to have for me. I think that's a fantastic thing that, that yes, and that should not be common. It should, it should, it should not be common that we are segregated. It should not be common that we're separate one from the other. It should be the common thing that everybody's invited to the party. Yes, yes. We get a chance to celebrate Christian and, and Jewish holidays, traditions. Uh, one of my brother-in-laws is married to a lady from Baghdad. So we get a chance to talk about Muslim traditions. And she's teaching me different words to talk to her, her child with. So it is just marvelous. Uh, when I go to their homes and we have gatherings. And that did not happen when I was a kid. As a matter of fact, we only went to the homes of the people on our street and in our neighborhood. The, you know, this family life that you have is remarkable. I think this expansion of my own experience is probably the reason why I enjoy working as a mediator and working with different people because I get a chance to see it in real time as opposed to pretend time. So when I show up at a table and there are different people there with all differences, all kinds of differences, it's of no important to me. The thing is, what is it that they wanna talk about with each other that I can be a part of and help them work through? Exactly, exactly right. Uh, uh, yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, a million times over. Miss Joyce, cake or pie? Did you say or? <laughs> Would you like to change that to cake and pie, ma'am? Well, uh, since we're since we're being recorded, I will just say cake. <laughs> you but can have it any way you want. Cake and pie. We'll just keep that between you and me. Oh, that I would love that. Do you have um, a favorite noise or sound? No, I don't have a favorite, but music was part of my undergrad major. So I'm triggered by sounds in music. Uh, last night I was listening to the Black Eyed Peas and it's, it's going to be a great day. And, and I could hear the thumping. I could hear the joy. So those kinds of sounds uh, uh, help me. I love hearing the giggling of my of my grandchildren when they're playing and enjoying each other, and when the dog is chasing them. Uh, in the mornings, I want a very subtle sound of, of uh, probably wind, water, rain. Uh, I like that sound and I get it through my Alexa. Uh, and I love to hear Pavarotti sing. That's one of my favorite songs when he sings. You know, the three tenors too, so those are some of my favorites, but let's not forget my, my other song is James Brown. When he, any song with James Brown that starts out with him, you got me. Is there any film that you can just watch over and over and over again and never get tired of it? No, I don't understand the big Lebowski. And I've tried to watch it for about three times to try to understand it. Only because one year it was a favorite song of my students at my law school class. And so I have to watch things that I don't understand over and over again. But I don't have a favorite that I actually go to. And I'm trying to think, what could I just watch over and over again? The answer is, I don't know right now. I mean, this, this old song of, this old film of Casablanca comes to us because, you know, the romanticism of it and how it ends and they're out there on the tarmac and saying goodbye and the drama of it all. And you know, it's well choreographed with regard to what's happening. And so I'm listening to what they're saying to each other and trying to sense it. That's something that I enjoy and I watch. Oh, Jurassic Park. 
I must have tell you, I must have watched every Jurassic Park two or three times because the first time I had no idea what was going on because I, the promos had me thinking it was going to be something different. And I was upset when I got in the theater and it wasn't what I thought it was. So I had to watch it a second or third time to catch everything. And then I followed all the sequences to Jurassic Park because I can watch it without having to think about anything anymore. I mean, it is, it's just so illogical. And it's, yes, it just takes you away and then you can get up, turn it off and come back to reality and say, okay, so the world's not so bad after all. I love talking to you so much. <laughs> That is not the movie series that I thought you said. What did you think I might like? Well, I, you know, I guess I, I, I always think that, you know, you, you, you are so well cultured and you've experienced so, such myriad things that <laughs> I, I suppose I, I thought you would say something, you know, a, a little more highbrow, um, <laughs> you know, something that, that, you know, Dr. Shivago. Yeah, I thought you'd say, oh, every year on the anniversary of the, my first date with my husband, we watch Dr. Zhivago, or I don't know. And to Russia with Love. I've watched all of those, but you said that I could just watch and watch. But yeah. Jurassic Park is... <laughs> so uh, the, my last question always in the series of idle chat videos is what do you love most about working in the resolution industry? What do you love most about doing the work that we do? meeting different people and being a source of, of uh, movement for them in their lives and being there to help them move or transition from one place to another. And also just to be a part of life because sometimes I feel I'm in the stream of life when I'm working. Well, to quote the Big Lebowski, and do the binds. <laughs> see there? Now I got to go watch it and see if I can get it right. Maybe that's why I'm watching it. <laughs> and I think he's sick right now. I think I read something that he's not doing so well right now. Jeff uh, Bridges. Oh, that's too bad. He's like, yeah, I thought I, I thought I saw something the other day. I'm going to go back and, and look and see what I, what I read about him. Right. He and his brother are so talented. Their father was too. Oh, so. he's very talented. And it's probably... He's, he's so talented. That's probably why I want to watch it more and more. Yeah, he's really good. Well, mm -hmm. Joyce Mitchell, thank you so much for joining me for an idle chat. I really appreciate your time. I wish you nothing but the best, my friend. Thank you so much. And the best to you. And I appreciate this invitation to just chat with you. All right. Call me again sometimes. Yes, ma'am, I will. All right. Bye now. <laughs>